have and look at it now. What happens is, we signature five long fingers on the right, five on the left, salutation. But as we come down to here, we stop at this point, okay? We're going to take these hands and peel them as we off-step to about 2.30, okay? Hammer. Now watch those hands circle. Hammer fist. And now watch this. Sweep. Back fist. Continue through. Punch. Off-step. Here. Sweep. Back fist. Punch. So watch that motion from the beginning again. Sweep. There. Punch. Now from here we're going to step back with our right foot to 6 o'clock and do a double parry forward bow and go straight into uh, Dance of Death. Pick it up. Elbow. Wide kneel. Over here. Stomp. Zone of Sanctuary. Chop. Shovel kick, stomp. Side kick. Twist stance. Unwind. And go straight into Dance of Death on the opposite side. Lift them over. Kick. Twist. Now look how we did that. We twisted over here and we unwind. And then we go into Leap of Death. Okay? So we unwind. Palm, back, fist. Toss them onto the floor. Poke. Boom. Now watch. Unwind. Notice the transition. I go into a right front crossover to uh, 9 o'clock. Okay? I catch his arm. Break it. Back fist. Palm him over to the ground. Stomp. Snap his neck. Chop. Ride it down. And loop up. Now watch. 3 o'clock. Crossover. Chamber of the hands. Notice that we're uh, using front and rear crossovers throughout this form. And now we're going to step off to 430 this way. And as we do, we do a parry, a parry, step, pull, hammer, snap, chop, snap, claw, and step off into a front, right front crossover. Or stance to the opposite side. Lock. side. Back knuckle, punch. Turn, do a downward block. Now hop off leaping crane. Back fist, slip it, chop. Over here now. Now watch this transition. Twist and leap. Side kick, chop, claw, side view. 
you. And uh, we'll just go ahead and go through it. We'll take it slow, and you can see all the movements. And they pay special close attention to the transitions between uh, the techniques, okay? So here, pull it up, and it starts from a praying position. And I'll do it nice and slow so you can watch. this transition. Okay. One, two, toss and down. Concave stance. There. Transition. Concave. Chop. techniques real quick so you can look at them at home. Uh, come on this side here. We'll, we'll start off uh, destructive fans. Okay. On destructive fans, what happens is a guy does a, a right punch to your face while you're standing here and does it from a flank attack. And so you'll notice that on all these techniques, it's what we call ghost imaging. We'll be stepping to the outside of uh, our opponent's body. Not only that, we'll be doing takedowns on all the techniques. We'll have takedowns, stepping to the outside of the body. Mostly, more than step the outside zones of sanctuary because we'll also be stepping to the inside of the body on some of these. So what happens is as he comes in and punches, I do a block here. I do this circular block here and I bam strike with a hammer fist into the kid uh, to the rib cage. So here's what it looks like again. He comes in boom, and we slam that in there. And as we step out over here, and I'm gonna sweep the I'm gonna sweep this foot, but look how I've got his arm. I'm gonna snap his elbow too. Boom. Just like that. I'm gonna snap his elbow in half back this to the kidney, and as I take him out, punch him to the head as he's falling. But that's why that motion's in there first. That's why you off-step hammer. And notice how my hands went like this as I swept his foot. That's because I'm, I'm breaking his arm right there. Punch. Okay? Dance of death. Pretty much everybody knows dance of death. What's that called? It's called an inverted neutral bow. That all says that. Well, for me, it's just a neutral bow, really. Actually, I do it in the horse. 
course. <laughs> inverted neutral. I heard. I read that. Uh, inverted neutral. I never heard of an inverted it's neutral. It's not. It's in the manual. It's not neutral. It's actually offset this way. Hmm. So in oh, so he leaves the leg like that. Right, right. Well, I like to step and be in. I don't. I don't. I don't you, I, you go a force like that. Let's do dance of death. Now here you'll notice that we're going to be doing this here. But what I'm going to do, let's do it from this angle, Henry. We do that windmilling and the uh, strike of the groin. But I'm going to do it against the reverse punch. Now normally we do dance of death against the guy steps in with the right foot, but I'm going to show you how to do it differently. So that they step with it. Yeah, right. In other words, do a right reverse punch. And as I as I windmill this pass, I'll strike to the groin. I'm going to pull the leg and I'm going to step in and do this here, but look, you'll notice this back knuckle, but look where my leg is. I'm going into a, a, a wide kneel because it checks that leg away from me and he can't lift it back up, see? Strike here, come over and torque the leg and flip him over, boom, onto his back. And that's what this motion here was all about. Then we're going to stomp his spine. I don't want to step on him too heavy. Stomp the spine. We jump off to the zone of sanctuary. Catch the kidney with a stomp here. And chop to the here. Shovel kick through the ribs, stomp the spine as we hop over here and side kick. There you go, Henry. So let's look at that again this way. Strike the groin. Now notice I did it against a reverse punch. Not even the right leg had to be for it. You can do this three different ways. Pick it up, take him over, back knuckle. Wide kneel keeps the leg check. Flip him over. Notice this implies the leg lock. Stomp the spine, hop off. Stomp the kidney, chop the neck, shovel kick the ribs, stomp the spine, and side kick here. You'll notice I was in a zone of sanctuary on that last move. I was away from his arms, he couldn't get a hold of me. The only thing different in mine is I used to step through reverse that you showed me the last time. Yeah, I like got that. Yeah. I started working on my students. I can oh, yeah, because when you hit, you can pull him back right, even right. better. It yeah. works even better. But right. here we're going to follow the form. Leap of depth. This will be interesting. Uh, let's do it from this angle. He's going to do a right step through punch. And what happens is, when I see the punch come in, I'm going to do it just like we did earlier on destructive kneel. I'm going to catch it and block it, grab it, pop the elbow, and no sooner do I pull him, but I back fist here. I back fist, and then I take and I drive him over to the ground. That's what this motion was here. I'm going to jump up and stomp his kidneys like this. That makes the head come up. I give him a concrete facial. Bam! That bounces the head back up. Now you'll notice we go into a concave stance here because that really locks him in place. Now I'm trying to defend Henry. Go ahead. See, he's locked in place from that concave stance. He can't move his arm. Right. We snap. Okay, we snap. I'll reach up, claw, snap the neck, chop, and then I'm going to do into the spine there. I'm going to leap up and catch him with a kick to the head again. All right, let me do this here. So here's what it looks like. Uh, I'll do it from this angle. I block, palm, back knuckle, throw him to the ground. Stomp the kidneys, give him a concrete facial, his head pops up, snap his neck back, then claw it up. I forget what hand I'm using. Boom. Make sure I'm using the correct hand here. Chop, palm heel, drop your knee into his spine, slam his face back into the ground, Step off and kick. Do that one more time, the last part. What's that? The last, the end part. Is that still running? Yeah. Turn it off now. The block, grab. One, two, three. Stomp, pull. Rip the head. Chop. Palm, heel. Drop the spine into the spine. Kick. Let's do sleeper now. Now in sleeper what happens is, here we get into family grouping again with Dance of Death and Thundering Hammers. On this one, Henry, let's do it. The guy does a right step through punch, and we block it off. But no sooner we block off, we do a, a rich hand, bam, and catch him here. And as I start to step behind, I'm going to go into a horse dance, I'm going to grab his gi, and I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to lever, just like this, and apply a sleeper choke. But I'm going to be in a horse, so that, that i got him pinned up here. And as I start to step back, I'm going to do a claw. And I'm going to rip him over and do a hammer strike and a palm heel. A little length in this part. So watch. Block, chop. Step in and apply 
have that lock. And you'll see how you're making a small triangle cutting off the windpipe and the uh, juggler rings. And as I grab his claw and claw his chin, I'm going to pull it around, rip in the head, hammer fist and palm heel as it goes down. Turn it off for a second. I'm going to focus in on this uh, real good. I'm going to show you why it's important to go into a horse stance at this point, too. Kind of a modified horse, really. What happens is he throws his punch, we parry pass, we, we strike with that rich hand. But no sooner do I do that, as I take it, I'm going to grab a hold of his shoulder and I'm going to lock this hand. And as you'll notice, what I'm doing is I'm going to create like a little L shape. And then as I step forward, I'm going to squeeze my hands together and cut off that windpipe. So see what we do? We get those hands close together and create. If you can cut off the windpipe and the breathing, as well as the blood supply from these two major veins here, he's going to go out. That's why it's called sleeper. So what happens is we go here, and as I step into him, I start the lever. Can you feel that choke? Yes. That choke's right in there. And that's all I do is I, I take and I drive this. I keep this hand constant, and I just pull on that one. But look what stance I'm in. I'm hugging the body, so get away, Henry. You see? I've got him. I got his height zone right. turned and checked, and I'm in my horse. Now normally, we'll, then we'll grab the chin, we'll claw him, and we'll pull. Let's see how I pulled his neck. Did you feel that pulling your right, throat? Right. I pull and I yank his head that way because it doesn't bend that in that direction. And then I'll hammer fist him and catch him with a palm real quick on the way down. But that's how that choke is done. As you step in, see that L? It cuts off the blood supply and the air. Then I simply rip and turn because the head won't turn that direction. Let me try another part. Okay, go ahead. Come in. Come in. Right here with a rich handle. Catch me right across the jawbone. Okay, see, if you hit him in the jawbone, boom. Okay, turn this right. way, you can film yourself doing it. Okay, so he's coming in. Bam. Strike the jaw. Boom. Stun him. Grab. Okay, grab. Now reach way up here to where you've got a lever by wrist. And simply go in as I come in. There you That's go. It. That's it. Okay. Did you feel it choke me? Yeah, I can feel the 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 um uh, vice light. You can feel it, man. It's just locked in. That guy's not getting away. And even if you do fall down, if you stay hugged up on him, he's out cold. So this is a good technique for a big guy. See, mine, I do this. I just completely okay. couldn't get it. Bam. As I'm coming in, I kind of push here. Oh, yeah. And take him down. Oh, okay. Just push the arm in just to maintain the throw. But do it again to get, get a feel of it. Watch. Do it again so you get the feel of it. So he's coming here. Bam. Grab. And there. But right well, watch. See how far down your arm is? Uh-huh. Get it up closer. closer. And then create my a pinch right there. There you go. Now, now do it, lever. My three times eight. You see? Yeah. When I start losing the ability to talk, that means I'm losing the ability to breathe, and that's sure. what you want. You want to choke off that windpipe. Okay. Got it. Next technique is called hopping crane. You'll notice in the form we did this. We stomped, hopped, kicked. All this is is a filler technique. Really. Come here for a second. Here, get down, face down. Our opponents, yeah, with your head that way. What happens is, the opponent's on the ground, and we want to make sure that as we're stepping this way, Henry doesn't kick me in the groin with his foot, right? You can you can start to, to defend, right, Henry? Start to get up. Now, look how he's getting up. Now, if I step like this, he can maybe back kick me in the groin or the knee or something. So what I do is I come up and I stomp on this foot. See, I stomp his foot. Okay, that's what that stomp is. I stomp his ankle. But so that I don't run into something, I hop off, lift this arm up, and then kick him right in the ribs. You see what that motion's about? Stomp his ankle, hop up, lift his leg up, and then kick him right in the rib cage. Okay? That's what that motion is. Okay. Oh, we did we did sleeper before we did hopping crane. <laughs> okay. The next technique is brushing the storm. You probably know uh, everybody knows this one. Step into a wide heel as I do a collapsing elbow, 
I'm going to palm heel to the groin. I'm going to pick his leg up this way. But now look how I'm doing the leg here. I'm checking the hip, and I've got it here. I'm going to do a front kick to the groin and a side kick to the opposite knee. What do you got in there? Leg there, a brace? Yeah. What's that? What's that? Bionic leg. Oh, what is there? Something wrong with the leg? Need a yeah. brace? this. Ready? Palm, off step, right to the point of where we brush the storm past. Palm, collapsing elbow, hit him in the groin with the palm, pick his leg up. Really control that leg, keep it up in the height. Front kick, twist, side kick. That's how it's done as a technique. Next technique, falling falcon. Good, we're almost through. Okay, leaping crane, falling falcon, circling the horizon. On falling falcon, what happens on this one is, let's do it from this angle. I'm standing here, this guy grabs my, uh, grabs my chest, uh, right here. What I do is I pin, that's what that motion was in the form. Remember here we went like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attack the lymph nodes of the arm and lift them up, control the high joint, and then I'm going to slam it down this way. Okay, let's go down here. So you see that that's really effective. Let's do it from this angle so you can see as he grabs it. What I do is I pin and I step into here. And as I do, I do that elbow up, which controls the height zone. No sooner do I get in there, all I do is pivot and slam him. There's the falling falcon. Boom. I come around here and I roll his hand over and I do a palm heel strike into here and a side kick to the head. No sooner do I do that, I twist his arm around here and I do a knee strike and break it again, catch the ribs and go to the groin. Okay, so let's watch it now, uh, like, we'll do it from two angles. In the form we did this. Here, kick, pull him over, break the arm, uh, ribs or kidney, and then the groin. Do it from another angle. Here, up, down. Break the elbow, punt, pull him over, knee through the elbow, knee, catch, and kick. Falling foul. You guys probably did it a little different, huh? Uh, the only thing is, uh, in the form, we leave out in the technique, we do it like so. In the form, we catch it here, kick to the leg, and then really break it here. Right, what we do, back row, bend. what we do is, is right here, here's how we, we ate the break. Come down here for a second, Henry. I'll show you how we ate that break without doing a, a real slam. Lay down for a second here. Okay. What happens is, we took him over, and we took him around, but the way we do the break is we go into a board boat. Wham! See, because that forward bow really levers down. Then we kick. All right. Kick to, you turn it off for a second. <clears throat> now you'll notice in the form, as we do our, our circle in the horizon, we turned and we did a back knuckle before we went here. Because as a self-defense technique, let's, uh, let's do it at an angle so it'll, maybe we can see it better. What happens is our opponent does a right step through punch. We go like that. We block it off and strike to the, uh, the temple or the mastoid. No sooner do we do that, but we collapse in, and then we drop down into a wide kneel, hammer here, and we usually attack the groin. But watch this. What we're going to do at this point is grab the gi and boom, we're going to use a palm heel and take his leg out. And then we're going to do something that I'm too old and fat to do, which is we're going to do a kick through. Go ahead and go down. Let's see. One, two. I went the wrong leg, didn't I? There we go. I should be this way. Because then we do a shovel kick, and then we drop the axe kick in there. All right. So here's what it looks like. The reason why we do the back knuckle first is because we're, we're turning into the unknown. And so we're just throwing a weapon out there first before we do this. Collapse it. Step down. See, I should have stepped down here. There. One, two. Leaping crane. Last one. Finally. <laughs> Let's do this one real quick, Henry. Okay. What happens is... Our opponent does a right uh, step through punch again, probably from this angle so they can be, see the back of it. Let's do this one at a 45 again. Okay. What happens is when he comes in and punches, we jump off. What you notice that as I parried and leaped off, this leap actually pulled power into this strike. So I leap off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a side kick to buckle him, sets up that kidney for a back knuckle. Now no sooner do I go there, but I just collapse the elbow into the head, do a sandwich, and right from point of contact, wrap around, snap, and using my leverage here, go into forward bow, and I do a chop. Then I grab his head and pull him into a knee kick 
pop and spine. But I'm going to stomp that foot on the way to doing this. Okay? All right. So you see what happens? You pull him off. Boom. Buckle him over. It sets up the kidney. Simply collapse the elbow from here. Boom. Catch him. Snap his neck. Fulcrum. Chop. Grab his head and pull it into the knee strike. And front kick the spine. And that's all along five. We're going to do evading the storm and look at the different types of interpretation. So go ahead. Claw, grab, bam. Now I'm going to take double attack with knee strikes here. Shift your weight onto that leg. Bam, bam. And then I'm going to kick it as you go down here. Wrist off. Take you all the way over this way. Stop. Right. That's it. Okay. But here's what I want to show you that's interesting. Okay. So Mr. Proctor, I'll speak to you when you get a chance. Oh, is it? Okay. Good turn. I want to show on evading the storm is, is uh. I'm going to show you some interesting little ways of doing this. What I always like to do is when I... I is he filming? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> More out <laughs> What I like to do is uh, try to get whatever damage I can in at whatever point I can. So what happens is, as my opponent comes down with a club, I'm going to break his arm right here. I'm going to snap that elbow. You notice I want that club, so when I break his arm, hopefully he'll lose it and it'll go that way. So it doesn't hit me. But watch that double factor. Let's just do it with just a hand for a second, because I don't want, I want you to see this here. Notice how we do the parry, but no sooner we parry, but we help just snap that elbow. Okay? Then we go into our kick, and we do our punch in our knee. But watch now, look how it sets his leg up. Then I'm going to crunch down, and I'm going to crush his ankle at that point. I'm going to break the ankle. So I'm going to break his elbow. Let's look at the targets on this. I break the elbow, sternum, kidney. This sets up the ankle. I break his ankle, okay? And then you can do your flip and everything else. Now let's also look at something else here. Let's say I break the arm, but uh, he doesn't lose it. Let's do it from this angle, Henry, so you can see better. Let's say I don't break, uh, I break his arm, but maybe the club for some reason is still in his hand or I've broken it. So I double factor break, kick, punch, one, two. Now watch this. Boom. At that point, I break, but I yank the club out. Then I can take and start to work with the club, use it as a weapon, you see. So I break, step around, I start to use the club as a weapon at that point and take him down. Then I can reverse the motion and use the club as a weapon against the opponent. That's if he hasn't left it at the ankle break. But I wanted you to see that little uh, double crack right. arm break. So when you do it, wow, come right. just like that. Here, crane, snap, ding, ding. Break the ankle. That ankle break. Part of the technique. Let's do it from this side first. Here's what happens. The club comes down and I off step. And look how I get a hold of that club. I got I got a hand on the club already. I'm gonna slam him in here. And no sooner do I go through here, but now look where I've got it. I've got the club and I've got his hand rent, but I'm gonna pull and step through and pull and torque that arm so that it sets that arm up. Break. Break, it's like the knee, knee, catch him, and I'm going to do it. Uh, it's here, and I'm going to sweep the leg, elongate him, and of course the rest of the technique goes one, two, okay. But the important thing to remember was right here, when the club comes down, I brush it past, and I grab. See, I'm starting to grab the club already, strike through, and as I torque his arm, I pull it, because he can't hang on to the club once I torque, and pull that arm straight, and set it up for the strike. Pull that arm straight as you continue to step through. And whop him out. Okay? Go in there. Uh-oh. There you go. Yep. You're all ahead. Okay. We're going to do... Hit it again. Turn it off, Ray, until we get ready. Just film it. You know, you know, Ray, you're going to keep our films nice and... <laughs> what happens is, let's do defying the storm. The club, it's a roundhouse inward club. So what happens is, as it comes in, boom, I'm going to attack the wrist and the bicep. The reason why I like the bicep... It deadens the arm. But no sooner do I do that, I'm going to snap the elbow, and it makes his head whip. Oh, oh. It pulled, you notice how it pulled him into the elbow. Then I'm going to grab the meat of the tricep, and I'm going to step back and pull. And notice how I lever. And then we do, boom, our, our um, knee strike and our overhead inward elbow. But did you notice how that worked? Yeah. A little bit too effective. We do a double chop. Crane hand over and pull that elbow, snap the elbow as you hook in. One, two, pull, pull him down. Make sure you level the arm, knee, strike. I'll do it on this side. Chop, snap, boom, pull him, boom. And that's how it 
you look when you're doing it by yourself. Chop, pull it, boom. Okay? Do you want to see the application one more time? Or? So we step in. This is actually a zone of sanctuary, stepping inside. We snap the elbow. It makes the head come forward. He runs into that elbow. We grab the meat of the arm here, and we lever as we step back, knee, and then overhead inward. Overhead. I think that I was working on this thing. I was doing it here, when he's coming in, I should be here. Right. Some people want to do that, I know. I grab it here, and I just pull it back. But I like the boom, and you're just going to crane it. Right. Go for the break. Go by the elbow. Snap the elbow. Now, that should pull and yeah. sets this chin up, and then you roll him over. Yeah. Grab the knee of the arm and lever. Then you just boom, boom, boom. There you go. Okay. So you see, it's real effective. And it's real quick. Right. It's real quick. That's tight circle. Right it's there. real quick, man. It's real fast in there if you do it quick. Acceleration right there. Into yeah. The okay. Come over here, but inward. Here we go. One, two, three. Right position. Something right. down. Okay, let's look at uh, securing the storm. He, it's, no, it's an inward. It's a roundhouse. Okay. Uh, you're thinking of surfing the storm with the pole. Okay. He comes in, and what we do is we step inside this zone of sanctuary again. But as we do, we do an extended outward block to this part of the arm. Don't block here. Wrap, coin. So we come out here, and we, and we do our punch. And no sooner we do that, we move up the circle and do an arm break. Now look where my foot is. I reposition it slightly. I go behind, and as I do, I drive a palm heel strike and shoot this leg out. Boom. Then I do a kick to the face, stomp to the arm, wipe the club away, and then kick to the head again. Okay. Boom. Okay? So it looks like this. Step in, break, reposition, take him down, stomp, hook, sweep, retarded ball kick, and I'm out of there. I like to catch the arm. This way and take me down the club. His arm slides right through here. Yeah. And then you just catch the club, sweep it off, stop the game. You got the club. Okay. What I do is I just figure to break the arm, boom, he should lose the he club. Should lose it. Right. 